to get the uh, fit tattoo today? Mm -hmm. Well, it's because I've been wanting this because uh, since I've been getting involved in this um, free Tibet movement for a little while and I've been really impressed by uh, all the activists and all the young people I've known around here, like their devotions and their like high spirits about um, their country their, and their own culture. Yeah, so that's why, like, I'm really inspired, so I want to leave, like, this word on me, like, kind of memorizing all these things. Yeah. Uh, so your word is um, independent, so why you choose the word independent? Well, since I'm from Taiwan, I don't know, like, I know there's been such, like, debates about the future of Tibet, but uh, for me, like, it's pretty natural to, like, have this like I mean for me like in my in my thoughts like it's pretty natural for Tibetan people to have their own independence and like you know be fully determined to their own future yeah so that's why and uh, what do you think of, um, uh, what's the different uh, Chinese and uh, Tibetans difference I mean it's totally different like it's totally two different ethnic groups it's been like a different country for you know, hundreds of years till the early 20th century. Yeah, so for me, like culturally, ethically, and yeah, in all, I mean, in almost all acts, but it's different. Uh, why do you think um, China want to, want so much, want to keep so much Tibet? Uh, well, politically, economically, like Tibet, I mean Tibet is a really uh, resourceful and I would say treasury land. I mean for any all kinds of countries. So like since long ago, there's been different you know uh, countries evading Tibet for their own goods, right? Like for example, the Brit like British people, Chinese, maybe Russians, whatever. Yeah, so. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty um, easy to understand. Like, as a state, considering their own goods, they would want to like invade it, like invade Tibet, and you know, kind of exploiting from there. Yeah, but I mean, this is really inhuman. <laughs> it's kind of un unacceptable. And also, um, a last question. <coughs> uh, no, we have a uh, more than one hundred thirty. South of Malaysia, mm -hmm. do you think all Chinese people understand why or do they really know that we did South of Malaysia? Do you think they know? Mm -hmm. I think there's two points. One of them is like uh, Chinese are like they're under this kind of censorships 
under their own government. So sometimes they are not informative enough for know, like knowing this kind of information. Like they might not knowing the, like there's more than hundred people self immolated inside Tibet. And another point is that Chinese they have this kind of nationalism state of mind. I mean sometimes they it's very really difficult for them to um, recognize that why Tibetan people is so like eager of like preserving their own culture, religious and language, all the things. So I think they like Chinese would need like they need more education on this. Yeah. They need to have more understandings about like what Tibet like what Tibetan people are really thinking about and what they are appealing for. I mean, like the population in exile is like really less, you know, compared to people inside Tibet or compared to the population around the world. So I think, um, I mean, like according to my observation, like people here is like doing really a really good job. Like, I mean, from different aspects, like different NGOs and different people, like they're working for different kind of things, rather in exile or like they try and go back to Tibet for some activisms. But uh, I think. It still need like more inno innovative kind of thoughts, or like there still need more people to get involved. In this, yeah. So, well, that's part of the reason why, why I'm here. Like, I mean, people from different part of the world they might have different thoughts, and they might, you know, get up with different methods of working for Tibet, right? Yeah. So I think people here are doing a really good job, but there's always a space for improvement, and that's why, like, it's highly encouraged for people to get involved in this movement. Let's imagine no division I wonder if you can The truth your only vision I'm a dreamer of impossibility